time. Puck comes back to Stanton. His shot. Makarov didn't see it until the last split second and uh, went just wide as the Tigers holding it in. Puck comes loose there. Moving in. Here's a quick hard shot in there from Gavin Broadhead. He just misfired as it goes wide of the net. Same as back in behind his own goal. Tigers make some changes. So it's the Blades now. Trying to move out of their own end. Duncan Samens inside his own blue line. Here's a high-end uh, player for the Sublade Hockey Club. And uh, he's kind of the catalyst that makes it go along with Walker, who's busting down the left side. But Walker trying to get around Dylan Vicinius. Vicinius puts maybe too much of a hold on him. There's going to be a penalty here to the Medicine Tigers. Walker's back in behind the Tiger net. He's being worked over in there by Jaden Hart. Finally, play is whistled down, and the Blades go on the power play for the first time in this hockey game, Barry. Well, Tigers, you're right. They're going to defend on their first penalty kill, and maybe Dylan Bassinius a uh, little bit of a hold there, and as a result, uh, the Tigers uh, go into the first PK. And we've got the media break right now. You're listening to HB Financial Tigers Hockey on Chat 94.5 FM and TigersHockey.com. If you're looking for a night out with the Tigers for the entire family but just can't make it down to the arena, then visit one of the co-op gas bar locations around the city. It's a great way to get your hands on some tickets if you're not a season ticket holder. Get a discount on a 30-liter fuel purchase and come cheer on your Medicine Hat Tigers from some of the best seats in the arena. Co-op Family Fun Zone tickets are available at any of the four co-op gas bar locations in the city. For hockey superfans, the goal never changes and the game never ends. Just ask brand new dad, Darren. Come on, honey, you're doing great. Push, push, feel the burn. No, feel the burn! This one's for the sippy cup. Okay, there's the glove hand for the assist. Here comes the slap shot. Congratulations, you've got triplets. A hat trick? Yes! Awesome! As true hockey fanatics, ATV Financial knows it's your goals that count, and we've got the assists. All right, we'll get the face-off in uh, Tiger territory as the Tigers killing off their first penalty in this hockey game. Blades desperate and trying to tie it up. And we've got Shin Carrick, Brito, Lewington, and Rickman out there to try to kill off the uh, first part of this penalty. And for the Blades, it's McColgan trying to win the faceout to the left of uh, Merrick Langhammer. And uh, so far, he's only faced three shots. The, the one of them, of course, was a penalty shot that was taken by Josh Nichols. Nichols is out there right now, and he's the guy that makes this team go offensively. Well, it's amazing. they got a, they got a lot of skilled players, but their power play only running just over 12%. And that's been one downfall of the play so far this year. Tigers clear not out. Here's Darren Gates getting the puck in front of a shot. And they score on the deflection. Parked right in front, I believe, is McColgan. Lot to wait and see, but uh, it was Josh Nichols, I should say. I think Josh Nichols uh, did deflect the power play goal here for the Saskatoon Blades. Well, all Darren Dietz did is just get it to the net, and Josh Nichols with the deflection there. And as a result there, the game's all tied up. Now, Glinghammer had no chance on that, and uh, this is where somebody's going to take care of Josh Nichols, so parked in front of that net, prevent him from getting that deflection, Barry. Well, the Tigers had possession of the puck on the wall there, and it was just uh, a puck that didn't get out of the zone, and then that's what happens, gets turned around. Seventh of the season, scored by number 20, Josh Nichols. Assist number 44, Darren Dietz. The time, 13.05. So oh, Darren Dietz, a medicine hat boy, will pick up the assist on that goal. So Darren Dietz has always played well here at the arena. I know some of his uh, more uh, productive games, uh, points-wise, has been right here in medicine hat. So the puck is loose in play territory. 1-1 the score. Power play goal here for Saskatoon. And uh, breaking down the right side. Penalty coming up here to the Tigers. Curtis Volk will be sitting out. The next couple of minutes seems as though in recent games, sort of the Tigers take one penalty, there's another one right afterwards. Well, they don't want to uh, get into too much penalty trouble uh, here early in this game. Uh, they want to try to stay five on five and then wait for their opportunities on the on the power play. But uh, the Tigers uh, just need to uh, get a little more discipline here in this first period, uh, taking a couple penalties here as of late. So the Blades have the momentum on their side. They just scored a goal. We've got McCulgan try to win the faceoff for the left side of the Tigers net. Puck Schwartz out his own goal. Vicinius, he'll slam the puck over on an empty wing there, but uh, Stoven got it 
uh, down deep into Tiger territory. He got to the puck first as Trevor Cox now bang hands the puck back into the center ice area. Blades going back and organizing in their own zone. Kyle Schmidt. He's in ahead. Here's Stolman down the right side. Remember, he scored three goals for the Blades last night against the Lethbridge Hurricanes in a 5-2 win. So, Tigers are very aware of him. Here's Boston Lear now. Get over the line. Trying to get around Schmidt. Boston Lear takes it back in behind the net. Tries to center. Couldn't get it in front. And that wraparound didn't quite work as the Blades move it out quickly. McAvoy dumps it deep into Tiger territory. Third game in his many nights here for both of these hockey clubs. And for Tucker time, we're looking at a 1-1 score. Lewington in behind the net for Rickman. Rickman lead pass into the center ice area for Jaden Hart. Hart's at center ice. Couldn't find Boston Lair. And the Blades are right back again. Walker leading the attack to the Tiger line. McColgan tried to... Uh, get it over on the left side, but it's intercepted by Lear. Lear bounces it in, and Makarov, he'll leave the puck at the side of his own goal. So the Blades going back and organizing deep in their own territory. Benson uh, played around the boards, and he was hit out there. A little slow in getting up off the ice. Tigers uh, failed to maintain possession of the puck. The Blades there in Dietz lugs it to the Tigers' blue line and then dumps it in. And coming up with it for the Tigers is uh, Sanford. The youngster from Vernon, B.C. will play the puck over the right side for Gavin Broadhead. Broadhead gets it deep. The Tigers have the kids out there right now. Uh, try to put out a show. Walker couldn't receive a long pass up on the right side. That's an icing call. Faceoff will be back and play territory. Next action for the Tigers, by the way, Barry, will be uh, Tuesday night. The Brad Wing Kings are here. Well, Gavin Broadhead, he laid a pretty good hit there on Brent Benson along the wall. And you know, a few of the Blades having a few words with him there after that hit. Uh, a good hit there for uh, Gavin. Well, I don't think Gavin's going to be intimidated by anything the Blades may have to say, do you? Oh, I don't think so either. And it's a good, good clean hit. We're looking at it here on the replay, and uh, nothing wrong with a hit like that. No, shoulder to shoulder. Yep. There isn't anything wrong with that uh, at all. Face out to the left side of Makarov. As the Tigers are trying to get that go-ahead goal, if they can, going out of the spread, there's a minute 58 left in the opening period. 1-1 the score for Shocker time as the puck is able to right back into deep Tiger territory again. So Langhammer fades to the Basinius in the corner. Basinius being left up along the wall by Cambites. And the Tigers will start out. Cam Bites, former Red Deer Rebel, he's an over straight into the blades earlier this week as the puck goes back into the center ice area. At center ice, Duncan Siemens sends it back into Tiger territory. The blades without Dalton Thrower, who's out on an indefinite suspension for a head check uh, last night there in Lethbridge, Barry. So Tigers are, uh, blades certainly miss him coming off the back end. Yeah, when you got a guy who's uh, one of your uh, top uh, your two, three defensemen, it's tough when you lose him out of your lineup there. But uh, those headshots, uh, they're going to be called every time and you know, automatic. Uh, they'll come with a sus suspension as well. So the Blades get the puck deep into Tiger territory, but it goes off a stick and deflects wide. We're into the last minute of play here in this uh, first period and uh, looking at a 1 1 score and 11 8 on the shots for the most part. It's been kind of an even up period. Yeah, it sure has been an even up period. And hey, the Blades, uh, they got a, a gift there on that penalty shot, which we thought was a questionable call, but Merrick Langhammer with a huge stop there uh, to keep that game scoreless at that point. So Rickman starting out from the left side of his own goal. Rickman, he'll move the puck up to the left side for Curtis Volk. Volk taps it in over the Saskatoon line, but they get rid of it in a hurry, and the Tigers have to go back and organize in their own zone. Rickman, he's paddling for along the boards to the left side of the goaltender Merrick Langhammer. Puck scores loose. Curtis Volk, he'll track it down. Volk now will move the puck over on the right side. Here comes Elgin Pierce to Trevor Cox. Up for Curtis Volk. Back for Cox. Cox turns, fires. And that pinball's wide as the Blades get a handle on it. Pufal now is stick handling in his own zone. Pufal, his pass up on the left side. Carrying it in over the blue line. And to try to set it up there. Stransky coming in from the right boards. But he was checked. Comes to the side of the Tiger goal. Josh Nichols looking for it in the corner of the left side of the Tiger net. Stransky back in behind the goal. He was tied up. Comes in front. They score! Just as the buzzer sounds, coming in late on the play there. Off the back end for the Blades was McColgan. And uh, the Saskatoon Blades will go into this uh, first play, leading 2-1. to one. That was a bang-bang play. McColgan came out of nowhere there and uh, scored that goal, just as the buzzer sounded, Barry. Well, that puck uh, came back to McColgan real quick. Uh, 
Lots of uh, Tiger players uh, thinking maybe the period was going to end there, and also it popped out front. And Shane McColgan all alone to put it in the net. I think they're just going to make sure they're going to go upstairs, but I'm sure that puck was across the goal line before the buzzer sounded. But uh, anyway, uh, they'll check it out. But uh, hey, that was a good play by the Saskatoon Blades. Uh, it was. Uh, hey, they turned the puck over behind the Tiger net and popped it out front. Shane McColgan, uh, he made no mistake there with a quick shot into the net. So anyway, it's the Blades leading the Tigers 2-1 to one after one first period, but uh, hey, the Tigers need to come back. And you're right, uh, they got to find some ways to put the puck in the net here and uh, get uh, a few more goals. First intermission break coming up. Uh, play of the period for Tiny Truck Box Liners. Our stats summary for Sun Country Nissan. And uh, once again, we'll be uh, reviewing our Talker Time uh, trivia question and the winner here tonight. All coming up your way in the first intermission break. You're listening to ATB Financial Tigers Hockey on chat 94.5 FM at TigersHockey.com. This is Medicine Hat Tigers Hockey for ATB Financial on chat 94.5 FM. For a warm, inviting atmosphere, add a Valor gas fireplace to your home. The original Radiant gas fireplace is available from Moritz Masonry with a wide selection of trims, frets, and surrounds so you can customize it to suit your home. Valor offers both manual and automatic settings and a timer so you can have the room toasty for those cold winter mornings and turn it off after you go to bed. Get a stylish look and efficient heating when you install a Valor gas fireplace from Moritz Masonry on South Railway. It's wall-to-wall mattresses at Parker's Brand Source with their annual Beautyrest Great Canadian Mattress Sale. Come into Parker's for the unheard-of deals on Beautyrest mattresses with the legendary patented Evolution non-flip pocketed coils. Evolution pocket coils, which can be found only in Beautyrest mattresses, gently conform to your body shape while working independently to provide unsurpassed motion separation. Find a queen-size Beautyrest studio mattress and base for only $7.99. The Beautyrest Great Canadian Mattress Sale at Parker's Brand Source. Uh, like I said, always... A very special time for any city that's hosting the Memorial Cup. Let's uh, check in on uh, something special here regarding Derek Rickman as uh, we look at this player profile. Derek Rickman is the Tigers' newest defenseman. However, the veteran blue liner certainly is not new to the Western Hockey League. Rickman played last year in Tri-City after spending three-plus years with the Hurricanes. The Red Deer native played all his minor hockey in that city during his peewee years. He was an offensive play blue liner, scoring three goals per game but all that changed in recent years as he's now known as a stay-at-home type defenseman. Darren Xavier, a former Dub player, is his favorite minor hockey coach and his favorite movie star is Leonardo DiCaprio. Well, on the subject of his favorites, he likes chicken parmesan and a penny alfredo sauce is a pretty gay meal and away from the game, he likes to golf during the summer. And he has had occasion to golf with former Tiger great Chris Russell. Chris, of course, has a summer home in Red Deer. The player in the NHL he patterns himself after is Robin Regeer. And in talking about favorite buildings to play in, he likes the Spokane Memorial Arena. And at the opposite end of the spectrum, he detests playing his footer. And uh, Connor Patrick is his closest friend in the world, someone he has known since kindergarten. His most embarrassing moment happened at the Saddle Dome when he tripped on the blue line and coughed up the puck to Brandon Cozen, who went in and scored on a breakaway. Eric Rickman, a rock among Tiger Blue Liners. And this has been our feature on Tiger Profiles. I'm Bob Ridley. And checking out some of the scores around the Western Hockey League as we get set for period number two. Blades leading the Tigers uh, two to one. We've got uh, a final of the Kamloops Blazers toppled the Calgary Hitmen five two tonight. That's the first regulation time loss for the Hitmen so far this year. Edmonton no score, Kootenay no score. That came into the second period. We've got uh, Troy City leading Musha by a score of two to nothing. Uh, only four games going on in the Western Hockey League. We'll be dropping the puck in the second period here in Medicine Hat with the Blades leading the Tigers 2-1. You're listening to ATB Financial. Tigers Hockey and Chat 94.5 FM at TigersHockey.com. Up next, second period play-by-play action with your Medicine Hat Tigers for ATB Financial on Chat 94.5 FM. Number 24, two minutes for we just got a minute left. It's a two-all tie, and the home team is on the power play. And so is Ramada. Right now, you can take advantage of discounted rates and still collect Wyndham Rewards points. Now, that really is some kind of power play. Check us out at Ramada.ca or call 1-800-2-RAMADA for details. He shoots. He scores! Ramada. You do your thing, leave the rest to us. All Ramada hotels in Canada are independently owned and operated. 
Pass to Dumbley is going for their fourth win so far this year. The Tigers going for their fifth. Opening face off for presentation of Samusite's Car and Dogwash. That takes place here momentarily. 12 9 of the shots in favor of the Tigers, but the Blades have the edge on the scoreboard as they lead by a score of 2 to 1. From the opening face off, Blades go chasing the puck back in their own zone. It's cleared all the way down the ice, right to the doorstep there of Langhammer. He'll send the puck to Basinius. Basinius around the wall. Underway with action here in the second period. Kyle Becker shovels the puck to center ice. Bounces the length of the ice. And the Blades have to go back and organize. Here's Duncan Siemens. Colorado Avalanche draft pick. Feeding it around the boards for Josh Nichols. Nichols, who scored the Blades' first goal here, was uh, able to lob it out. But the Tigers' Becker dumps her back in again. Siemens again around the boards up at the right side. As it goes rink wide now for Stransky. Stransky dishes it off there, but Darren Dietz, he was too well covered, and the Tigers will move it out of their own end. Here's a pass up to the right side. Tigers caught in a line change. Cox, he was hit there by Stransky. Falls, but gets right back up again. Cox gets right back after the puck, though. He'll drop it to Basidius. Basidius to Trevor Cox. Cox at center ice. And he'll fire the puck over the left side, but it was intercepted there by Nichols. Drops it back for Siemens, and Darren Dietz now starts out of his own end. Does a spin around the move to get away from Trevor Cox. He'll dish it off there for Siemens. Rank wide pass up to the right side, knocked down by Rickman, but he couldn't get it out. Lights now on the attack. It's sent through the blue and out the other side. Comes right back to the blue line. Perform will hold it in. He'll get it uh, deep into Tiger territory. Blades again, Walker hands it off into the corner. Tigers could as well. He'll start away. Both clubs have made a change here on the long sequence of plays. Now Lewington at center race for the Tigers. He'll lob it in. Blades going back and defending. Tigers uh, throwing some fresh skaters out on, on the ice again. And the Blades regroup with Pafal. Sending it around the boards up to the right side for Kyle Schmidt. Schmidt. Rank wide pass for Cambice. Cambice is having trouble against Boston Lear. They both go down in a heap and it's played back into the center race area. Lear, he's up and at it again. Here's Lear down the right side. Lear trying to shake the checking there of Pafal. Here's Boston Lear coming out of the corner. Lear back for Spencer Jensen. Rink wide now for Ty Stanton. Stanton gets it down low. Boston Lear trying to get to it as well. Jensen, he's along the boards and the puck squirts back in behind the Saskatoon Blades goal. So some real close checking out there right now. Huddish and Carrick and Cambites had a little set to there. As the puck is played right back into Blade territory. Out of the corner is Matthew Pufal. Pufal getting it right wide. He's a former Red Deer Rebel as well as the puck is able to all the way down the ice. That'll go wide of the Tiger goaltender, and that's a nice and call. Face off back in Blade territory. Barry, a lot of action between the blue lines so far. Yeah, a lot of action. You're exactly right. Between the blue lines, uh, both goaltenders not uh, seeing any action here. And, Hey, the Tigers uh, want to get some uh, quality shots here on Andre Makarov. And one thing, uh, he's a very good first stop goaltender, and we need to get some traffic in front of this guy. 12-10 uh, of the shots in favor of the Tigers, but uh, nothing is falling right now as the Blades are getting some excellent goaltending from Makarov, and Tigers aren't getting to any rebounds right now. It's the face off for the right side of Makarov. Tigers now are coolest. He'll feed it around the four still in Brado with Hunter and Carrot. They're battling in behind the net. Carrick comes up with the puck. He'll feed it back to Basinius. Basinius moving in range. Got a shot away. Carrick's looking for the rebound. They bang away at it, and the Blades are able to clear. Becker will hold it in at the blue line, however. He'll get it back in behind the Blades' goal for Hunter and Carrick. Now to Basinius. Basinius over for Becker. Becker got a shot away, and that deflects off a stake and out of play. Face off will be to the right side of the Blades' goal, and that's what the Tigers are looking for. Getting some rubber towards the goaltender, uh, Makarov. Well, some good puck movement by the Tigers in the Saskatoon end, and uh, the Blades doing a good job defending and not letting uh, any quality shots to get through on Makarov. But I think we're starting to get a real good look at what the campus places are all about, Barry. They beat uh, Calgary here tonight, and places are so deep up front. Uh, they just got uh, three, four lines that keep coming at you. Tigers now organizing play in their own zone. It's cleared back into the neutral zone. And uh, Darren Dietz, medicine product, he'll shovel the puck deep into Tiger territory. Montreal Canadiens draft pick. Here's a shot. Langhammer making the save. The rebound jumps high in the air. 
Lines up at the side of the Tiger goal. Play back to Seaman. Seaman's the shot. He whistled that one just wide. Got a great wrist shot there as the Tigers come tearing out of their own end. Here's Pierce looking for Curtis Volk. Back for Pierce. That didn't work. Blades now moving the puck back into the center ice area. On the attack there for Saskatoon was Brett Stolman. Got it at the side of the Tiger goal. Tiger's clear. And it comes back into the neutral zone. So the blade Schmidt, he'll drive it over there for Pafal. Pafal retreats back to his own blue line. Blades leading in this game 2-1 to one here for Tonka time. Tigers try to play some catch-up hockey. Doty, he knocks the puck loose, but uh, Blades back in over the Tiger blue line. Assles trying to get a shot away. Assles and Doty had a pretty good tilt back in that first period. Now comes to Pafal. Pafal at the blue line trying to get a shot through. That was blocked on the way in by the Tigers' Derek Rickman. And the puck comes out of the right side. We got Hart and Lear on a 2-1. Over for Bossler. Goes in. Shoots it. Oh, what a save in there by Makarov on the short side. Good effort there by uh, the Tigers' Bossler and also Jaden Hart. But they just couldn't quite convert it. Only because of a great stop there with Makarov, Eric. Well, that was an outstanding stop by Makarov. Uh, two on one there with Hart and uh, Lear. And Lear's got the hot hand and give it to him. And, boy, he made a pretty good move. But a uh, great stop by Makarov. So it's the Tiger Spencer Jensen. He'll rattle the puck off the board. Siemens intercepts for Saskatoon to McColgan. McColgan inside his own blue line. Here's McColgan's stretch pass. Almost intercepted there by Stephen Howery of the Tigers. Young 16-year-old turning and firing off the half wall with Stransky for the Blades. Langhammer had to make a save. His kick back into the corner of the right side of the Tiger net. They dig for it. Gavin Broadhead. He comes charging down the right boards. He'll slide the puck back into Blade territory. And we've got a stoppage here, Barry, with the... Saskatoon Blades still leading the Tigers 2-1. Well, the Blades uh, doing a pretty good job against the Tigers in defending uh, uh, this lead right now, uh, up 2-1, and the Saskatoon Blades, uh, they don't look like a team that, uh, what are they, 2-3, uh, 2-7 and, three, two and seven or 3-7 and seven right now? They definitely don't look like a team uh, like with that type of record. No, and I just don't know what happened to them starting the season. They just uh, really fell in some hard times, wrote a five-game losing skid, and had trouble coming out of it, but they're playing hard here tonight. Dylan Brado, he'll dump the puck off there for Hunter Carey Couldn't battle through a check, and the Blades come tearing right back now to center ice. It's a shot by Lucas Sutter deep into Tiger territory around the wall. The Blades trying to put some pressure on Lucas Sutter. A wrap around Langhammer closing the door on the short side. And for the Saskatoon Blades, as Walker again trying to get a shot through. He did. That was stopped, and the Tigers were able to clear the zone. Comes back into the neutral territory with Darren Dietz to Duncan Siemens. Siemens slides it ahead. Hit there by Basinius on Lucas Sutter. They kind of push and shove one another, but the Tigers back in their own zone to organize. Kyle Becker sends it on the boards. Basinius to Coolis. Coolis battles through a couple of checks. Gets away from Stolman. Drops it over for Bredo. Dylan Bredo off the half wall. He'll feed it around the board. Still 2-1 for Chocolate Time. Blades with the lead. We're playing in the second period. The puck is able all the way down the ice. Lewington, he'll try to chase it down. We've got an icing call in the faceoff back in the Saskatoon Blade zone. So once again, that final score, Cowboys places over the Calgary Hitman by a score of 5-2. to two. And as far as the Calgary Hitman are concerned, their first regulation time loss so far this year. You just can't win them all, Barry, and the Hitman kind of found that out here tonight. Yeah, you're right. And the uh, Calgary, uh, they still uh, haven't lost yet this uh, this year as well. So I think they're the only team, isn't it? They are the only team yeah. at this point. And the Tigers fought over the uh, Camelot's Blazers rollout and a 4 2 loss there in Loopstown. Now it's the Tigers on the attack. Here's a long shot, and that goes this way to the mark. Winds up in the corner to the left side of Makarov. Here comes Curtis Wolk out of the corner. Takes a shot. That was a sharp angle shot. Couldn't get it on the net. And it's Wolk again back in behind the goal. Wolk. Had the puck knocked out of his, really just a stick knocked out of his hands. But uh, comes up with it again. Curtis Wall from the faceoff circle to Pierce. He couldn't one-time it. Kind of lost his balance. And there's going to be a penalty here. And I believe it's uh, being issued to the Saskatoon Blades. So Tigers will get a power play. I think it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. That's I think Pierce right. is getting the slashing call there. On, I believe uh, he slashed the stick right out of, out of the hand of Brett Stolven. So uh, Elgin Pearson, some frustration, draws a two-minute minor penalty, and the Blades will go to work on a power play. They already have one power play goal here tonight. That came from Josh Nichols, and for being last in the league on the power play, <laughs> uh, they're looking pretty good with it here tonight so far. 
So face off from the left side of the Tiger net, and this is a huge penalty kill for this Tiger Hockey Club. The semi SEL rattling around the boards, couldn't get it out, however, Del and Bredo out there on this penalty kill. Basinius, Becker, Bredo, and Hadishin Carrick. Hadishin Carrick logging a lot of ice time these days, killing off penalties, power play, 5-on-5. Five five. Here's Darren Dietz. He'll drop the puck there. Good hard shot from the point. They score. Stransky in front on the deflection. I believe he'll get credit for the goal. And the Blades for their second power play goal of this hockey game. And they've got a 3-1 to one lead here, Barry. Well, you're right. Stransky was the guy in front of the net. And he got his stick on that one to redirect the, the puck past Merrick Langhammer. So the Blades out of front, 3-1. to one. Penalties improving very costly for this Tiger Hockey Club here tonight. A uh, shot came from the blue line to fall. Stransky deflects it in, and to fall will draw an assist. We'll see if there's a second assist issued on that uh, particular goal. So 3-1 Saskatoon. Power play goal, his third of the season. Scored by number 14, Mate Stransky. Assist number two, Matthew Pufal. And number 44, Darren Dietz. So Darren Dietz will pick up an assist as well. That's his second helper here tonight. And uh, we seem to have a hurt goaltender there, Makarov, Barry. I was uh, looking at my stats, and I think uh, on his way to Vils Inbin is Jaden Hart. What happened there? Well, Hart, uh, Hart caught him coming across the crease there looking at the replay. And uh, one thing, Jaden Hart wasn't. He was not inside the, the crease uh, of the Saskatoon Blades. He was just skating by it. But any time that you uh, catch a goaltender with a... With a hit like that, uh, it's going to result in a penalty. Well, uh, Jaden Hart uh, will see some penalty time, and uh, yeah, you're right. But uh, actually, it wasn't intentional at all. Well, it wasn't intentional, nope. and you know when the goalie's outside the, the crease like that, the, the player has every right to the space uh, that he's in there. And, you know, the referee made the call on that one, but you know, I don't know. Uh, when, once you watch the replay a few times, yeah. you kind of question maybe the call. Well, Makarov made it look uh, a lot worse than it actually was. Uh, Makarov kind of embellished that a little bit. But uh, anyway, it's the Blades uh, going to work on their fourth power play. They've already got two power play goals. Dates to Pufal. Pufal moving into range. He'll get a shot away. And Blades are very good at uh, putting a guy in front of the... Uh, Tigers goaltender Merrick Langhammer taking his eyes away, and Stransky seems to be that guy. He scored just uh, moments ago on the power play. So the Blades are on the attack. McCulgan will send it back for Darren Dietz. He whistled the shot. Comes off the backboards for a team that's in last place on the power play in the Western Hockey League. Uh, Blades are doing a real good job uh, here tonight against this Tiger Hockey Club. McCulgan back inside his own blue line again. He'll turn the puck to center ice. McColgan down the right boards. He's in over the line, trying to get around Dylan Bredo. McColgan taking it into the corner. Got it back to Pufal, to Dietz. Dietz has two assists here tonight. Medicine that kid to Pufal. Now here's the shot. And that was stopped in there by Langhammer. Tigers clear, but not out. Held in. McColgan back in behind the net for Stransky. Mate Stransky takes the puck along the boards. And he has just scored here for the Blades. His third goal of this hockey season. Pufal now to Darren Dietz. Dietz walks the line. He'll get it to McColgan. McColgan trying to set it up to Dietz. High slot. She scores! Darren Dietz picks the upper right-hand corner and the Saskatoon Blades make it 4-1. to one. Boy, their power play is on fire here tonight. Well, is it ever? And they're getting pucks to the net and boy, they got big Stratsky in front of the net uh, just causing some distraction there for Merrick Langhammer and I'll tell you what, that was a great shot by Dietz. And I don't think uh, anybody deflected it on the way in, not from this vantage point anyway. Uh, uh, maybe Stransky, I don't think so. I think it was Dietz's goal all the way. So, goal, his fourth of the season. Scored by number 44, Darren Dietz. Assist number nine, Shane McCogan. And number two, Matthew Pufal. The time, 8.52. So McCogan and Pufal will get the assist here as the Blades now with uh, three power play goals in this hockey game. That's been the difference. Tigers haven't been able to score in the power play where the Blades have. So kind of a frustrating time for the Tiger specialty teams. There's the lead pass now as uh, Curtis walk in from the left side. Toe drag goes top shelf and over top of the crossbar. Nice effort there by Curtis Walk. Just couldn't finish it off, however. Now the Tigers, uh, Stanton, he'll get the puck deep into play territory. Tigers going after it along the boards there, but Elgin Pierce could not come up with the puck. 
Blades getting all kinds of momentum, and uh, from their power play in tonight's game, Lewington to Sanford. Sanford's shot, that goes way wide. Comes back to Rickman off the backboards. Rickman's shot, that was deflected, and it goes back into the corner, the right side of the uh, Saskatoon Blades goal. Sanford trying to come up with it. Here's Howery in front, but he couldn't knock the puck down, and the puck is sent by the Blades back into Tiger territory. Rickman. He goes back after it, picks himself up after stumbling. Here's Sanford. He'll dish it off to uh, Gavin Broadhead. Broadhead back to behind the net. He's got Sanford working with him. Now to Gavin Broadhead. Broadhead trying to get away from uh, Schmidt out there, the defenseman. And it's knocked right back into the corner again. 4-1 the score for Chocolate Time. Saskatoon Blades have the upper hand as they've scored three and a goals. That's far here in this uh, second period. And I believe we've got the media break coming up here right now on an offside call. And we'll be back in a moment. You're listening to ATB Financial, Tigers Hockey on chat 94.5 FM and TigersHockey.com. Shop.TigersHockey.com is the online source for everything Tigers. Represent Alberta's Orange County with jerseys, t-shirts, hats, and souvenirs. Check the site often. There's always something on sale. Find the perfect gift for the hardcore fan in your life. Shop.TigersHockey.com has something for everyone. Everything you need to show your Tigers pride and the easiest way to buy Tigers merchandise online. Shop.TigersHockey.com for hockey super fans, the goal never changes and the game never ends. Just ask driving instructor Ed. Okay, you're doing great. Oh, no, now you're over the center line. You're offside. Okay, pass, pass. Nice shoulder check. Watch that linesman. Yep, the one painting the lines there. Mm-hmm. Okay, you got a breakaway. Go for it. Oh, there's an opening. Go, go. Go, red light. Yeah, hit the horn. Horn. You mean the brakes? No, the horn. You scored. Hit it. As true hockey fanatics, ATB Financial knows it's your goals that count, and we've got the assists. Well, it's a tough go here for the Tiger Hockey Club. The Blades with uh, three power play goals and uh, now have a 4-1 lead against the Tigers. Uh, catch up hockey time. We'll see just how determined the Tigers get here, Barry. Well, uh, you're right. they got to get started getting some quality shots here on uh, Andre Makarov uh, if they're going to beat this guy. And stay out of the penalty box. Uh, the Tigers have taken a few undisciplined penalties there that you know, have cost them. And they, this Blades power play, they got some skilled guys they can put on the ice. And, boy, it's been dynamite here tonight. So let's see, Saskatoon Blades now uh, failing to maintain possession of the puck inside the Tiger line. They're sent back into their own territory. Siemens, he'll rattle it off the boards back into the neutral zone. Kyle Becker for the Tigers dumps it in. Darren Dietz inside his own blue line. He'll shovel it to center ice. Becker again for the Tigers to Dylan Brito. Brito will love the puck into the corner of the right side of the goaltender Makarov. And the Tigers go in on the four check. On the boards, here's Miles Kulis. Uh, trying to catch fire again. Coolis in the corner. Now he'll dish it off to Hunter Shinkarich. Shinkarich back into the corner. Now to Coolis. Coolis comes off the wall with a puck to Basinius. Basinius is long shot. That was blocked in front by Darren Dates. Dates has a goal and two assists here tonight for the Saskatoon Blades. Homegrown player and he always plays well in this old arena as the Blades fail to maintain possession inside the Tiger Blue Line. And now they make some changes as the Tigers' Dylan Basinius comes out of his own zone. Up for Trevor Cox. Cox will bang the puck right back into Blade territory. And it comes around the boards. It'll be Spencer Jensen trying to hold it in. Failed to do so. Cox tried to get to the puck back into the center ice area, but uh, play whistled down, and we'll get a face-off in the Blade zone. 8.20 at the time left here in the second period. 4-1 Saskatoon for Taco Time. Well, I'll tell you, Saskatoon tonight, they, they look more like a first-place team than they do a last-place team. and they, uh, They've been coming at the Tigers uh, pretty good, but the biggest thing is their power play has been so effective tonight. That's the key, and uh, that power play will win you a ton of games, just like uh, it did for the Tigers earlier in the season when the Tigers' power play was running red hot. Now along the board, Schmidt trying to dig it off the wall for Saskatoon. He's in his own zone, getting some heat in there from Boston Lair. Bond is shipped off the wall back into the center ice area. Gavin Broadhead will get the puck to Ty Stanton, and uh, he had some difficulty with it. Has to go back into his own zone as he's getting some heat in there from the forechecking of the Blades McAvoy. So the Blades still in possession. The puck comes back to Siemens at the blue line. He'll whistle a shot. That was blocked down by Gavin Broadhead of center ice. Ahead for Boss Lair. Lair will chop the puck back into Blade territory. Duncan Siemens tracks it down. He's in his own zone. 
Simmons trying to turn away from Gavin Bryant. Some good forechecking in there by Bryant. Puck comes back to the blue line. It's Pierce failing to get to it. Then the Blades are on their way back. Here's Hassels going in. His shot. Good wrister there on Langhammer. Langhammer making the save. Assels will kick it right back to the blue line. Here's another shot this time. Langhammer loves the puck, holds onto it. We'll get a faceoff in the Tiger zone. So the Blades now are shooting the Tigers uh, 20 to 15. As this game moves forward, Barry, the Blades really seem to be gaining more confidence. Yeah, you're right. Uh, they get some power play goals, but uh, they seem to be getting more and more momentum. And uh, the Tigers need a break here. They need to get a goal here. Uh, real quick here before they get out of this second period. Western Hockey League this week. Uh, that's what we'll be bringing your way in our second intermission break. Some uh, thoughts from John Kane, who's a play-by-play man of the Camelos Blazers and uh, does the Western Hockey League program each and every week as the puck was kicked out of the crowd there by uh, the goaltender Makarov after Curtis Walker had taken his shot. So the faceoff in the Saskatoon Blade Zone. 7.05, the time left here in the second period. Next action here at home will be on Tuesday night. The Brad of Kings come to town. Tigers only have one goal so far tonight. That coming from Curtis Volk. And uh, they've had some other chances, but Makarov has been pretty much uh, a rock in the nets here for the Saskatoon Blaze. Volk again in front by Ketchup. They score! Getting the rebound there was Trevor Cox. Tigers creating the turnover. Things were pretty quiet for the Tigers, and all of a sudden they respond with a goal, and that's the one they needed. Trevor Cox getting them fired up again. Well, there he is again, Trevor Cox. Uh, the guy, he, he knows where to be, boy, to score a goal. And there he was once again in great position there. And Curtis Ball finds him the puck, and he makes no mistake, takes the original shot, gets his rebound, puts it in. As far as Cox is concerned, that's his fifth goal of the season. They kind of come in bunches with him. He's had the two, uh, two goal games here for the side of team. Oh. His fifth of the season, scored by number 36, Trevor Cox. This is number 18, Curtis Folk. The time, 13.09. So Volk does pick up the assist as the Tigers are back within two goals of this plate hockey club. So they are climbing their way back into this game. Still lots of time left, 6.25 remaining in the uh, second period. Then we've got the entire third period yet. So Tigers are not in a panic mode, obviously, as Dylan Basinius tracks it down in his own zone. Vicini is working from the right corner. He'll slap it off the boards back into the center ice area. Blades go back and organize in their own territory. It's lifted up in the left side for Stransky. Rank wide pass into the neutral zone. Darren Dietz carried it as far as the Tiger blue line. He was stopped. Puck is bounced back into the center ice area. Then lifted into the Tiger zone. So Becker to Vicinius. For Sanford, Sanford's down the right side. He'll get it to Jaden Hart. Couldn't pull the trigger. He was a two well covered there by the uh, back checking of the Saskatoon Blaze. Zajac. Tigers holding it in. There's Sanford turning and firing, but he drifted to just wide, looking for Boston Lear for a possible deflection. Tigers have some jump now, and uh, moving in was Jaden Hart, trying to get a shot through. Finally, he dumps it off into the slot, but uh, Sanford, he was too well covered, and the blade, say Jack, he'll run into center ice, backhands it deep into Tiger territory. Langhammer. Well, dump it around the boards as the Tigers, Spencer Jensen, comes tearing out of his own zone. Jensen's at center ice. In over the blue line. Jensen going towards the net. Couldn't pull the trigger. Jensen still has it. Drops it off into the corner now. Here's Elgin Pierce out of the corner. He'll get it to Curtis Falk. Rips the shot just wide. Falk having another great scoring opportunity there. Uh, Falk could have a hat trick here tonight. Had he been able to score some of his chances, he already has one goal and one assist. Penalty coming up here to the Saskatoon Blades. Trevor Cox is back out on the ice again. The Tigers have their goaltender on the bench. Here comes Walk into the slot. Walk couldn't uh, get a shot away. He was tied up by Walker. Here's the shot. That pinball just wide. Tigers, Henderson Carrot. He's coming out of the corner with a puck on the leg call. In behind the net for Elgin Pierce. Pierce now a wraparound effort, and that hit the side of the goal. Cox has it again for the Tigers. Trevor Cox plays it back to the blue line. Lewington shot. That was blocked, and the puck comes back into the neutral zone. Rickman has it now for the Tigers. Still a delayed penalty call here. Late pass, Curtis Wall to Miles Cronus. Cronus unloads. And uh, Huddish and Carrick looking for the deflection there. Finally, the Blaze touch the puck, and the Tigers are getting a power play. We will play. The Antonio's Pizza 
And in their power play contest for Jamie Ellis. Well, Miles Coolis uh, took a shot. He broke a stick again, the second one here in this game, and just don't make sticks the way they used to, do they? Yeah, they Not at all. Wooden sticks, you can never break those things. That was old Northlands, uh, been last year for two years. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> no, those old players love those sticks because they get hock and whack with those things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, these composite uh, sticks, they just, they don't last. And these kids are so strong. And the NHL guys, too, they... Uh, they just, uh, you know, one wrist shot and it's a broken stick. Well, yeah. And what is that, 300 bucks for the there sticks now? Yeah. Glad I'm not buying sticks. So the Tigers are on a power play. Here's Shankar getting a shot, but it goes off dates and out of play. So the Blades power play has been running red hot. Tigers trying to get their power play fired up as well. And uh, as far as the Tigers, uh, two goals are concerned. Both were even straight goals. So no power play goals for the Tigers yet here tonight. So the faceoff will be left side of the Blaze goaltender. Andre Makarov has been solid. Tigers have to get some rubber on him here if they can on this uh, power play. They shot around the boards. Vesenius couldn't hold it in. Jumps over his stick. Here's the race for it. Cam bites and Vesenius. And following up is Josh Nichols to Cam bites at the side of the net. Back for Nichols. And what a save in there by Merrick Langhammer. Great play by the Blades. They do a good job when they're killing off penalties. But uh, Langhammer had to be razor sharp to make that stop. As the puck is uh, shot right back into Tiger territory, again, Josh Nichols trying a sharp angle shot on the other side of the Tiger goal. Tigers are running into center ice. Hutterson Carrick drills it in. And in from the left side, we've got uh, Miles Kronis trying to make a play. Comes back to the blue line. Kyle Becker will be checked right at the line there by Cam Bites. The Blades very aggressive on the checking into things here and killing off penalties. Well, uh, very aggressive and as a result the Tigers turning the puck over uh, a number of times and they, uh, they were lucky that uh, they weren't pulling that puck out of their net as uh, Josh Nichols, he uh, just missed and uh, Merrick Langhammer comes up with a great stop. And Nichols has been deadly tonight with a goal and one assist for this Blade team. So the Tigers still haven't had a shot on Makarov and uh, starting away is Kyle Becker. Becker, lead pass for Pierce. Pierce hit over the line. Here comes Boston Lair. Lair getting a chance, and his shot was blocked in there by Makarov. Good work again by Boston Lair. Just couldn't quite finish it off. Blades now. And over the Tiger line goes Stolben. Stolben, he was tied up along the boards to the right side of Merrick Langhammer, and uh, the puck is knocked loose. Trevor Cox finds Boston Lair. Lair's at center ice. Head over the line, trying to get uh, around the last guy back there, Siemens, but Siemens grabs the loose puck. He'll send it back into the center ice area. Saskatoon Blades, a big team, and a team that uh, certainly has some speed for their size. Here comes the Tigers again. Gavin Broadhead, he's down the right side into the blue line, tied up by Stransky. He's played it out in front there, but Dylan Bredo was all tied up, couldn't get a stick on it. Stransky couldn't pick up a pass at center ice and slides right back into deep Tiger territory. Spencer Jensen dumps it off into the corner as uh, Ty Stanton flips it around for Broadhead, but it's picked off there by Walker of the Blades. Walker sends it into the corner to the right side of the Tiger net. And a 47 left for Tiger time. We've got a 4-2 score. Saskatoon Blades leading this Tiger team. Here's Dylan Bredo out of the corner to the left side of his own goal again. He'll fire the puck up for Alry. And the California native couldn't get started at center ice, so Spencer Jensen now feeding it over for Broadhead on the right side. Gavin Broadhead, he'll dump it in. Tigers trying to make some changes. We've got Rickman and Basinius Mackle on the blue line, along with Miles Kulis out there right now. As Zajac, he's running to the Tiger blue line for Saskatoon. Zajac trying to go around Basinius, but Basinius runs him out of room, and the Tigers, Miles Kulis, comes storming right back. Up for Audition Carrick. Quick wrist shot right on. Makarov making the save, and the faceoff to the right side of Andre Makarov. Well, he makes another big stop. A good shot there on Makarov, and Big goaltender, he just comes out and really challenges and he made the, uh, that stop look pretty easy. And he helped uh, Russia with a gold medal for the Russian national team there last year. Barry came in in that uh, final game to kind of stone the Canadians. We all remember that. Well, do we ever? And uh, well, I'll tell you, this guy, uh, he's going to be a real good goaltender and uh, he's a free agent signing to the Buffalo Sabres. And, you know, we saw him uh, last year, real good goaltender, and he uh, looks that much better even this year. So from the faceoff, here's Rickman getting a quick wrist shot, but uh, 
That was knocked out of harm's way there by the goaltender Makarov. It's cleared up on the left side as Lucas Sutter will send a rink wide. Rickman has it now for the Tigers. Rickman sends it back in behind his own goal. We're into the last minute of play here in the second period. Hattershin Carrick at center ice. Tigers need to get that next goal if they can. Cam Bites, he has it for the Blades. He's in over the Tiger line. And a uh, quick shot that was on a deflection. And uh, Tiger goaltender Langhammer had to be sharp on that one. Walker off the right boards. Takes a shot. Had a sharp angle. Whistles around the wall. Here's Siemens getting it over for Darren Dates. Dates now a long shot. That was uh, knocked down, but Hattershin Carrick couldn't clear. Blades putting the pressure on again right at the tail end of the period. Finally, it's taken by Miles Kulis. He'll run it to center ice. He'll double deep into Blade territory with 11 seconds left. He didn't cross the center line, so that means it's an icing call. And the faceoff will be back in the Tigers' zone. 4-2 for Chaco time. Blades leading the Tigers here tonight. Well, some turnovers late uh, in this second period, and the Tigers' end almost resulted in a couple good scoring opportunities for the Blades. And, you know, the Tigers, uh, they've got to make sure at 11 seconds left uh, that they don't allow any shots at all here on Merrick Langham Langhammer. Well, the Blades scored with just one second left uh, going out of the first period. And uh, once again, another one like that would be certainly a backbreaker as the puck is in the core of the right side of the Minnesota Tigers' goal. They tie it up, and that... Ends the uh, second period as the Blades have a 4-2 to two lead after uh, two periods of play. And certainly that second goal the Blades score going out of the first period. Kind of coming back to haunt the Tigers right now. The Tigers are a bit of a downer after that and just couldn't do anything with the penalty kill. The Blades now with three power play goals. Yeah, three power play goals. Uh, it's been running red hot here tonight. Uh, their power play is last in the league, but you wouldn't know it by the way they're uh, operating here tonight with those three power play goals. Uh, they're improving it hugely, no doubt. Uh, let's look at the out-of-town scoreboard here. It's the Calgary Hitman losing to Kamloops 5-2. First uh, regulation time loss for the Calgary Hitman this year. The girls are one of the stronger teams in the league this year. How good is this team in your opinion, JC? Um, I think we're really deep up front. Uh, younger defense, but uh, they're they're buying in and they're doing a pretty good job so far. And uh, I think the team has a lot to, a lot to give this year. It should be worth a Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks. And that's the show. I want to say thanks to Drew in Prince Albert for his help. I'm John Key, and thanks for listening. This has been a presentation of the Western Hockey League in cooperation with the WHO Radio Broadcast Partners and Easton Hockey. A production of NL Broadcasting Limited, Camelot's British Columbia. Hi, thank you very much, John Kane, with some thoughts from around the Western Hockey League. Uh, I'd just like to remind everyone about the BMO Ultimate Fan Contest, Wednesday, October 21st, when the Tigers play the Kelowna Rockets. Fans are encouraged to... Come down dressed up and cheer loudly for their chance to prove they are the ultimate Tiger fan. Uh, be as creative as possible as three fans will be chosen to compete in an intermission uh, contest. One fan will be crowned with the ultimate fan title and will be entered to win a trip to the 2013 Memorial Cup in Saskatoon. So some good things coming up here as far as the Tigers are concerned and uh, talking about the BMO ultimate fan contest. Remember that date, October 24th, as we get close to Halloween. Tigers are trailing the Saskatoon Blades 4-2, entering the third period. Underway with the play-by-play -play in just a few moments' time. Uh, the opening face-off, a presentation of Samusite's car and dog run. That'll happen when we come back. You're listening to ATB Financial Tigers Hockey on Chat 94.5 FM and TigersHockey.com. Coming up, third period action with your Medicine Hat Tigers for ATB Financial on the home of the Tigers, Chat 94.5 FM. Number 24, two minutes for high sticking. Folks, we've just got a minute left. It's a two-all tie, and the home team is on the power play. And so is Ramada. Right now, you can take advantage of discounted rates and still collect Wyndham Rewards points. Now, that really is some kind of power play. Check us out at ramada.ca or call 1-800-2-RAMADA for details. He shoots! He Ramada. You do your thing, leave the rest to us. All Ramada hotels in Canada are independently owned and operated. Okay, from the opening face-off, we've got the Tigers organizing play in their own zone. Here's Spencer Jensen to center ice for Trevor Cox. Cox with one of the two Tiger goals so far here tonight. And uh, that's his fifth of the year. Nichols 2-1 for the Blades. Going in, shoots, scores! Josh Nichols! Wow, what a laser-like shot. 
as he picked the lower right hand corner on Merrick Langhammer and the Saskatoon Blades. First 20 seconds of this period are out in front by a, a score of 5-2. to two. Well, it's not what the Tigers wanted to start this third period is to get a goal against them that quick, but in the odd hand of Josh Nichols, he goes in and makes no mistake. Nichols, two goals here tonight. Has got eight on the season. Boy, is he playing very well. We're watching it on replay here, and uh, that was a perfectly placed shot picking that to lower right-hand corner. 44, Darren Dietz. The time, 19 seconds. Darren Dietz picking up the assist. A big 4.9 here. For the Medicine Hat uh, product and the Montreal Canadiens draft pick, Darren Dates as the puck is loose back in Tiger territory. We'll get the Tigers. Becker trying to clear the zone. Henderson carried out there as well. Becker again dumps it to center ice. Dylan Brito will feed it up on the left side. Here's Henderson Carrick busting in, but it's called on the outside play. We'll get a face-off, and the face-off will be to the right side of the Blades goaltender outside the blue line. Well, you're right, Darren Dietz. Uh, he's having a, a great night here tonight. Four points so far, and you know uh, he's got to be happy with the game he's had here so far tonight. Well, uh, very, very happy, too. Is his family sitting in the stands, I'm sure, watching him perform here this evening. Tigers' Jaden Hart comes up with the puck, but uh, got a fans on a shot. Lost clear to Hart back into the corner. Now it comes to Rickman. Now to Hart. Hart comes off the half wall. Moving in, shoots. Macroff makes the save. Boston Lear. He was close in. Couldn't get around on the rebound. And the Blades cleared the zone. We'll stay back in the Tiger territory. And that's an icing call. Face off. We'll be back in the Blades zone. So 5 2. Boy, what uh, an uphill climb here for the Tigers now, Barry. Well, they need to get one quick here. They need to respond after Saskatoon scored with, uh, what, 19 seconds into this period. And you know, the Tigers uh, want to get back on this board here and get within two once again. So I'd just like to remind everyone of the fourth period that uh, will be coming your way. And that, of course, the presentation of Medicine and New Holland. There's a long shot that uh, goes through the blue and out the other side. Nobody there to tip it in. The Tigers back in their own territory as uh, we've got uh, Miles Kulis trying to track the puck down. Blades are just uh, content to fire the puck all the way down the ice. So we'll get a face off uh, with the drive on the right side of Makarov back in Blades territory. Well, Hunter Shukarik, he's drawn a lot of attention. Lucas Sutter is usually on the ice when uh, Hunter Shukarik is, along with Darren Dietz and that's the way it's going to be for Hunter. He's got to get used to uh, that type of life here in the Western Hockey League. You're going to garner a lot of attention. You score 49 goals in this league, and you can bet night in and night out uh, that there's going to be someone looking after you that all night long. Face off will be the right side of the Blades goaltender, Makarov, and uh, Tigers have uh, maybe not tested them quite as much as they'd like to have. They've only have uh, 21 shots on Makarov so far in tonight's game. Mind you, that very solid and big Saskatoon defense preventing the Tigers from getting that second shot for the most part. Puck goes into the corner, the right side of the Tigers goaltender. Grabbing it now is Elgin Pierce ahead for Curtis Falk. They got turned off the puck, and it's uh, Trevor Cox now retreating after it, deep in the zone zone to Curtis Falk. Falk has, uh, without doubt, been uh, the best Tiger out on the ice so far here tonight as Falk has a goal and one assist so far here this evening. And the puck is uh, sent back to the play territory. So we've got an icing call. Face-off will be in the Tigers' zone. Don't forget, Tuesday night, Brad Kings come calling, and the Tigers want to be a little bit better with the specialty teams that night, I'm sure. Well, you're exactly right. Uh, it's where you lose, win and lose games, these specialty teams. And, hey, Saskatoon Blades with uh, three goals on the power play so far tonight. They've been dynamite. Trevor Cox blocking his shot. He's limping out there right now as the Tigers start out. Curtis Walk, he's on his way into the neutral zone. Walk will send the puck back into Blade Territory. We get Pafal catching up to it for Saskatoon. He's back in behind his own goal. So Pafal lugging it out, driving the puck into the center of the area. It's lobbed up uh, by McAvoy. McAvoy couldn't catch up to it. Tigers on their way back. Sanford, he's trying to go around. Schmidt, he does. Here's Sanford in front. Got the shot away. Good save in there by Makarov as he closed down that uh, lower left-hand corner. Good effort there by Cole Sanford. Zajac, he moves in for Saskatoon. Long shot. Comes off the backboard. Sanford has it again. Sanford, who's very sneaky quick out there, uh, loses the puck, and the Blades get control again. It's uh, lobbed deep into Tiger territory by Brett Stolben, and the Tigers moving it out again. Hadish and Carrick lead pass up on the left side. 
But Siemens has the puck for Saskatoon. Clears it around the boards. Lewington at center ice. Uh, Saskatoon just trying to shut down the Tigers right now. Here comes Sutter Shinkarik in from the left boards. Hunter Shinkarik back in behind the net. Shinkarik being tripped up a little bit, but he does feed it back to the blue line for Rickman. Rickman takes it up. The shot kick saver there by Makarov. And the Saskatoon Blades get a handle on it, try to clear it out of there. Coolis holds it in. Now, Dylan Bredo back to the blue line. Here's the shot. They score. Try coming from Tyler Lewington. And I think uh, we'll take a look at him. I think Hunter Shakurik probably deflected it in. Tigers are still in the thick of it here. And they're just two shots away from maybe tying up this hockey game. But uh, the, the shot came from the blue line there. And uh, we'll just check it out, Barry. Well, Hunter, it looked like uh, from his reaction that he did deflect that one. We'll see what the replay shows. Now, well, Lewington got the shot away, and I think Hunter Shinkara did get a piece of it. So, Tigers will get Hunter Shinkara drawing that goal. Now, that puck looked like it was going wide of the net, and he got a stick on it to put it in. The sixth of the season, scored by number nine, Hunter Shinkara. This is number five, Tyler Lewington. And number 27, Dillard Bredo. So Dylan Rado picks up the assist as well. And uh, Lewington just uh, did the simple thing. Get that puck towards the net. And anything can happen. And Hunter and Carrick got a stick on it. Deflected it in behind the goaltender. There's Tobin coming back for Saskatoon. Shirts, he scores. Tobin. He goes top chase just under the crossbar. And the Saskatoon Blades make it a 6-3 score. So this doesn't seem to matter what the... Medicine and Tigers do. The Blades reply here with a goal. Well, today the Tigers come back with that. They gave up an odd man rush, and I'll tell you, uh, Brett Stolven, uh, he ripped that shot past uh, Merrick uh, Langhammer, who he had no idea where the puck was going, and it beat him high over the glove uh, hand with a great shot. So once again, we've got the Saskatoon Blades out in front by three goals, 6 3 to score. And that uh, comes right after the Tigers said they scored a goal here to. Uh, get back within two of the blades. Now here's a chance for Jaden Hart. He's busting in from the right side. Hart, he comes from the corner. Plays it back to Stanton. Stanton, he'll find Spencer Jensen, but they couldn't make anything happen. Boston there, he's looking for it along the wall too, but he's being pushed off the wall there by Stransky. Now McCorgan is in over the line with Nichols. Nichols goes wide. Josh Nichols takes it back in behind the net. Nichols still has it. Turns. Flyers couldn't get it on the net. Siemens will hold it in the blue line. Here's Siemens shot. That pinball's into the corner, and the Tigers will start away. Boston Lear at center ice. He's hit over the blue line. He was shoved off the puck there by Darren Dates. And the Blades, Duncan Siemens, back after. And he's in behind his own goal. So Siemens coming out slowly. His pass up on the right side. Nichols could knock it down. Rickman's inside the so blue line. He'll scoop it over there for Lewing 10 to Dylan Brito. 6-3 the score. Blades leading here for Tucker time. A shot from a sharp angle. Makarov making the save. Lots of uh, face washing going on on the side of the net as Crum has developed. We'll see if any penalties come out of that, Barry. Well, usually any time there's a scrum like that and punches being thrown, they'll single a few guys out and send them to the box. Well, Josh Nichols holding the hot hand. He's from Twasson, B.C., actually, and uh, is a free agent. I can't understand why he'd be a free agent, Barry. Like, somebody should have signed him by now. Well, you're right, and uh, very surprising. Uh, you think, well, the season that he's having so far that it won't be long before uh, he does get some type of contract once the NHL comes back. If they do this year. Some if people they do. say it might take two years. So for the hockey fanatic, uh, that's not a good uh, a good thing. No, for a guy like Josh Nichols, well, you know, he may not up, uh, end up with a contract that maybe at all this year. Face off for the left side. Uh, Makarov, the goaltender here for Saskatoon, and he's made some big saves. We get uh, Hunnish and Carrick and McColgan. He's drawing minor penalties as a result of that face washing that was going on. So it's the Tigers now, Elgin Pierce. Trying to track down the puck in the corner of the left side of the Blades goal. Days comes storming back for Saskatoon. He's hit over the Tiger line, but long shot away. Langhammer trying to knock it out of harm's way. Pierce turns out of his own end. Here's Pierce on the right side. Too well covered. 
But uh, moving in there was Curtis Volk, but had it uh, stolen from him by Darren Dates. Dates leading a three-man rush for the Blades. Here's Dates going in the shot. Langhammer making the save on the right side. Here's Dates feeding it back for Seaman. Seaman at the blue line. He rifles his shot. Langhammer making the pad save, and the Tigers still of Asinius. He'll come storming out of his own end. Curtis Volk at center ice. Volk, he got turned off the puck, and it goes deep into play territory. Stolven, he catches up to it. He's got four goals in the last two games here. For Saskatoon, Brett Stolven runs at the center ice. Here's Stolven in over the blue line. Toad drag goes in. But Langhammer makes the stop there. Stolven trying to run over him. And it comes back to Schmidt. Schmidt's inside the line. Fans holding for a penalty here. There's Schmidt moving in. His shot. And that goes off the stick and goes out of play. So they'll get a stop. There's 45 seconds left. And the double minor penalties. Well, the Saskatoon Blades coming close once again. Brett Stolven uh, takes it to the net. And... Hey, Merrick Langhammer with a good stop, but I think you said Stolven, he had three goals last night, so he's on a little bit of a roll. Boy, he is. He's a big horse out there for Saskatoon. And like you said, this is not uh, a last place team that we're watching here tonight. The Blades gaining some confidence with that 5-3 win, or 5-2 win over Lethbridge last night, and they've carried that into the night's game as well. Three power play goals. That's the story here for Saskatoon. Josh Nichols has a couple of those goals. As the Blades are inside the blue line of the Tigers, the fall will set it right wide. Here's Stransky going in on the back end. Langhammer coming up with a big stop there. So Stransky, he's a big horse as well, plants himself in front of that net. Very tough to move out of there. Well, is he ever, uh, and you're right, he's a big guy there, uh, Stransky is. And he, uh, what does he stand with? Six foot three, 215 pounds. That's a big guy in front of the net, and oh, he's a nightmare for any type of defense out on the ice. So Campbell's trying to win the faceoff for the Blades, but uh, the Tigers get possession from the draw. It's Pesenius shoveling it over on the left side for Kyle Becker. Becker at center ice, up for Boston Lear. Lear crossing the line, backhand shot, way wide, comes around the boards, and the Blades come tearing right back again. Walker's at center ice. There's Walker going wide, coming in from the left side. Walker takes it deep into Tiger territory, and he drops it back, coming in late on the play. There was Lucas Sutter, but he couldn't get a shot through to the net. Sutter has it again off the half wall. Back to the blue line. Siemens will get it over for Darren Dates. A shot. That goes way wide, and the Tigers, Kyle Becker, he'll move it around the board. So it's uh, Sanford. He got spun off the puck. There's a penalty coming up here to the Blaze, and I think there was a knee involved there. So getting the game is Lucas Sutter, and uh, that could have done some serious damage there to Sanford, but he was able to spin out of the way. So the Blades will be killing off the penalty. Time is going to the power play for the fourth time and looking for their first power play goal here tonight. And we'll be playing the uh, Antonio's Pizza power play contest for Joel Logan. So we'll see what happens with uh, this Tiger power play. Well, the Tigers uh, need to score real quick on this power play. They want to get, uh, once again, within two here. You get uh, within two and then a quick shot, and all of a sudden you're uh, within one, and this is a brand-new ball game. And from the uh, the replay there, it does look like that uh, Sutter got a knee in the way and on Sanford. Uh, you know, when you uh, get that... Uh, can opener movement going there that can cause some serious damage to players' groins and other knees and so on. Yeah, he managed to uh, sidestep that one, uh, Cole Sanford did, and you know, I thought uh, Cole's uh, been a pretty good performer for the Tigers here tonight. He's had uh, some good shifts out there, no doubt. Puck comes back to the blue line on the power play. Basinius being watched by Josh Nichols. Here's Basinius to shot back with the same rebound. And the feeling getting towards the net there was uh, Jaden Hart. I think Sanford, or at least Makarov, uh, made a good club save there as he stretched out his hand and made that stop as uh, the Tigers uh, forward tried to get it towards the net. We'll take another look at it, but Jaden Hart did have an opportunity there on that rebound. The shot comes from Basinius at the blue line. Makroff couldn't hold on to it. Now Hart, he got a shot, but it was straight on the ice. Couldn't lift it, and a uh, good save in there by Makroff. You can bet Hart would like to have that one back uh, next time you put that one under the crossbar. 
Now Kulis, he'll dish it off here. Basinius the shot failed to fight his way through. Lights with two power play goals. Tigers with none so far tonight. That's been the big difference in this hockey game. Long pass up the left side. Here's Shinkarik stepping in over the blue line with Curtis Volk. Drops it for Volk in the corner. Now he plays it back to Miles Kulis to Curtis Volk again off the half wall. Volk coming in from the left side. And uh, leaves it there for Hart, but uh, Hart couldn't maintain possession of the puck. Here come the Saskatoon Blades. It's uh, nailed deep into Tiger territory by Benson, and the Tigers have to go back and organize. 6-3 the score for Tiger Time. Blades with the upper hand, and Kulis, he trips over the blue line, and Benson, maybe a penalty should be added out there. Here's Nichols. He loses it to Boston Lair. Lair is at center moving in. He'll drop the puck off, and Elgin Pierce a shot. Back up the same rebound. And again, an open net, but this time Lewington, who came in from the blue line, just couldn't find the twine. So, no luck around the net for the Tigers here tonight. Boston Lair at the side of the goal. Tried to center it there. 35 seconds left in the Tiger power play. And the puck is finally shot all the way down the ice. And the Tigers having to go back. And maybe time for one more rush here on the power play. We've got 10.44 left in the third period. Tigers trailing by three as it's cleared up for Trevor Cox. Cox has a goal here tonight. In over the blue line goes Cox again. Boston there back to Elgin Pierce. Pierce, he'll get it over to Lewington. Lewington couldn't get a shot through. Puck uh, pinballs way back into the neutral zone. Pierce again for the Tigers. Up in the right side for Ty Stanton. Stanton gets it deep. It'll be Sanford trying to get to the loose puck. Takes it back in behind the goal. So that'll do it here for the Tigers power play. And again, it came up empty here tonight after a couple of power play goals there last night. And the Blaze doing a real good job in shutting the Tigers power play down here this evening. Spencer Jensen sent back into the zone. So O'Neill flipped the puck ahead for Cole Sanford. Sanford stopped, but the Broadhead support again. Broadhead takes a bit of a high stick in there from Lucas Sutter, and then he dumps the puck deep into Blade territory. Blades going back to organize. We're at the midway point of this hockey game. Hutterson Carrick had the puck jumped over his stick. Walker has it now for Saskatoon. He'll rip it deep into Tiger territory. Tigers after Rickman. He'll chop it around the board. Still in Brito. From the left corner now, Brito will get the puck ahead for Miles Kulis. Kulis loses it. Zajac now a shot. Langhammer the save. Rebound. And it's knocked out of harm's way. Stolven holds it in. Siemens another shot from the blue line. That was blocked by Kulis. Another shot. Langhammer got a glove in the way of that one. He flex it into the corner. And the Blades are back organizing in Tiger territory. Putting on some pressure with Dylan Brito. Finally getting to the loose puck. He'll find Rickman. Rickman turns. Put it right on the stick there of Nichols. Nichols dumps it out from the corner. Left side of the Tiger goal as the Blades make some changes. And the puck comes to center ice. Hunter Shinkarik chops it back into Blade territory. So the Blades, Duncan Siemens, Colorado Avalanche draft pick. And over the blue line with Josh Nichols. Nichols, he got stood up there and couldn't make a play as the Tigers come storming out of their own end. The three-man rush. Curtis Wall came moves and he rips the shot. And Makaroff there to make the good save, and he holds on to it. So we'll get a salvage and play in the media break for Taco Time. The Tigers are trailing 6-3. to three. You're listening to ATB Financial Tigers Hockey on Chat 94.5 FM and TigersHockey.com. There's no such thing as too much comfort. Discover this for yourself in the Lazy Boy Comfort Studio at Parker's Brand Source. See their flyer for great prices and bonus coupons to help you save even more on Lazy Boy sofas, recliners, and sectionals. Recliners as low as $4.99 or a Hayes reclining sofa only $1,099. For coupons to save an extra $75 on a leather Lazy Boy recliner or buy one Lazy Boy recliner and get the second for 25% off. A Lazy Boy bonus coupon sale. On now at Parker's Brand Source downtown on 3rd Street. Get in the game with the BMO Tigers MasterCard and support your hometown Bengals every single time you use it. Each card features the Tigers logo proudly displayed on the front. Four different options to choose from, including air miles and cash back. For more information, click the link at TigersHockey.com and let them know you bleed orange and black with your BMO Tigers MasterCard. 30 shots apiece here tonight, Barry. Uh, both goaltenders have been busy at times, haven't they? Yeah, they sure have. And, you know, Merrick Langhammer with probably more of the quality shots on him here tonight. And uh, Makarov uh, making some big stops as well at uh, his end there. But I think out of the two there, I think Langhammer's been a little more busy. So we'll get a face-off from the left side of the Saskatoon Blaze goaltender. 
And uh, for the Tigers, it'll be uh, Jaden Hart, who had two goals last night. He's had a couple of opportunities here tonight as well. But uh, the Blades aren't giving the Tigers a whole lot of room, uh, time in front of that net to make the good play. Darren Dietz for Saskatoon. Boy, has he been a dominant force with a goal and three assists there for the Blades tonight. At center ice, Fossilier couldn't uh, come up with a puck. It's not great right back in the Tiger territory. For Tonker time, it's a 6-3 score. The Saskatoon Blades have the lead. Running at the center ice is Bossilier. He's in over the line. Here's Lear now. Trying to dish it off for Basinius, who came in the back door. Couldn't quite get it to him, and the Blades get a chance to clear. Walker, he's roaring down the left side. Here's Walker trying to get around the Tiger defenseman Becker, but uh, got a sharp angle shot in the side of the Tiger goal. Here's Cambites now. Uh, looking for somebody in the corner and trying to center it there for Saskatoon. Puck uh, goes right back into the corner again. So, Blades doing a pretty good job on the uh, forecheck. Puck comes back to Schmidt at the blue line. A shot. He whistled that one way wide. Pafal will try to hold it in. There's Pafal losing the puck outside the blue line. Good check in there by Trevor Cox. Now the Blades right back in over the Tiger blue line. Trying to make a play. It's Ajax. But uh, he was stopped in there by Baker. Baker will dump the puck down the ice, and the Blades have to go back and organize in their own territory. Trailing by three, the Tigers need a goal right now if they want to get back into this hockey game. Elgin Pierce, he was stopped. Now it's a hit over the blue line, and uh, the Blades clear it again. Some rather ragged play going on right now. The Blades are content just to kind of sit back and play some defense, and Tigers try to penetrate some of that defense as Darren Dietz as the puck at center ice for Saskatoon. He'll work for the puck right back into Tiger territory. And it'll be Spencer Jensen now to tie Stanton. Stanton lead pass for Hunter and Carrick, and it goes off his stick and goes deep into play territory. So we've got an icing call in the faceoff. We'll be back in the Tiger zone. Next action for the Tigers, Barry, will be Tuesday night. Brad Wickings coming to town, and they've uh, been uh, maybe not quite as consistent as they'd like, but still doing a pretty good job here in the Eastern uh, Conference. Well, just so you know, looking at their record, five on three, five and three at this point, and hey, the Wheat Kings uh, scoring a lot of goals, but so far they're still giving up a lot of balls as well. And uh, that Bonacici is uh, one of their big uh, acquisitions, of course, in the offseason, an overage from the Lethbridge Hurricanes, and he's winding it up, at least he was earlier, and then they've got the Twin Towers, that big uh, defense uh, pair back along the blue line, and they're tough to stop. Uh, Pulock, uh, one of the defensemen there, and this guy used to be a forward his whole career, and then they, uh, they moved him to a defenseman, and what a defenseman he is. So it's Nichols again for Saskatoon at center ice. He'll set a rink wide for Stransky. He's hit over the blue line. Stransky goes wide, dumps it off in front. Dylan Brito doing some good back checking there. Was able to intercept and feed Hutterson Carrick. Busting away at center ice. Nichols has him all tied up. And the puck winds up in the corner. Gavin Broadhead goes in on the forward check. Darren Dietz has it for Saskatoon. Feeds Josh Nichols. Nichols along the wall. He was stopped. Tigers failed to maintain possession. Stransky in his own zone. A big, tall, lanky guy. Lots of strength out there for Saskatoon. Josh Nichols, he'll tip the puck back into Tiger territory. Langhammer round the boards. Here's Sanford now. Feeding it up on the left side for Aury. Aury was too well covered. Sanford picks it up again. Crosses the line, but it's called on the outside. We'll get a salvage in play. Face off to the right side of the uh, Saskatoon Blitz goaltender outside the blue line. For Tucker time, we've got a 6-3 score. Saskatoon leading. Time running out very on the Tigers. Well, time is running thin for sure on the Tigers. And uh, down by three goals, but hey, it's junior hockey. Nothing's impossible when it's junior hockey. Anything can happen. And the Tigers 0 for 4 on the power play. The Blades are 3 for 4 on the power play here tonight. Puck comes straight back to the blue line. So it'll be Boston Lear knocking it down. Spencer Jensen, he's at the right side of his own goal. He'll spin the puck into the corner for Ty Stanton. Stanton flips it ahead for Boston Lear. Lear for the Tigers. Search pass over the right side. Couldn't get it to Curtis Volk. Blades straight back to the Tiger blue line. Good check there for Boston Lear again. And the Blades start all over at center ice. It's nailed deep into Tiger territory by Pufal. Winds up in behind the net. And the Tigers, Spencer Jensen, he was checked by Ty Stanton. He goes after the loose puck in the left corner. Up on the left side for Jaden Hart. Hart's on the left side. He's got Curtis Volk with him. He'll rip his shot. But uh, the goaltender, Matt Corrupt, saw that one all the way and wasn't about to give up a rebound. And 
Face off will be in the blade zone. 31 31 at the shots on goals. The Tigers have certainly had their chances here tonight, but Makarov has been, for the most part, rock solid. Yeah, he has, and he's done a great job in controlling his rebounds. Uh, the one that he really put it back into the uh, back right into the hash marks of the slot there is to Curtis Volk, and uh, Volky put that one in, but as you know, after that, uh, he's done a great job in just keeping the puck in tight to him. Third game and three nights for both of these teams, and the Saskatoon Blades have the upper hand on the Tigers. Six to three, the score. So the Blades regrouping out of their own zone, and it's lifted deep into Tiger territory. Tigers fighting right back, however, Elgin Pierce trying to get away at center ice. He was covered, Darren Dietz has the puck, and he lobs it deep into Tiger territory. It'll be Lewington getting to it. He'll lob it around the boards for Rickman. Derek Rickman to Trevor Cox. And that went a little bit too far for Trevor, and it goes all the way down the ice. So we've got a nice and call. Faceoff will be back in the Tiger zone. Well, 4.17 left, and uh, the time is uh, running thin for sure on the Tigers. And uh, they need to get one real quick here uh, it's, you know, to get back within two here, and uh, then anything can happen. Talking about some of the top uh, defensemen here in the Western Hockey League, we're talking about Ryan Bullock of Brandon. Second in uh, team scoring as far as defensemen are concerned. He's got uh, 12 points already so far this year. The Tigers, Philip Basinius, ranked the seventh in the league as far as scoring is concerned. And uh, as far as Basinius is concerned, he's got eight points up to this point in the season. So a Schmidt inside the blue line. He'll right for the puck deep into Tiger territory. Langhammer having to make another save off Nichols, who got the rebound off the backboard. Langhammer. Uh, coming up with a big stop there. Josh Nichols always dangerous around that net, isn't he? Well, is he ever? And uh, the three points here tonight for a couple goals and assist Josh Nichols. Uh, just a tremendous game. And like you said, uh, this guy uh, is a 20-year-old, no contract or anything. And when he keeps having the season that he's having, uh, I think something will come his way by the end of the year. Well, from what I understand, uh, you know, a lot of uh, NHL people are interested in Josh Nichols. They say he's got to pick up his skating a little bit, Barry, but uh, I know this guy's trying to catch him, and they have difficulty doing that, but I think he has improved his skating since last year, no question. Well, he doesn't look like the quickest guy, like you said, but uh, like the other thing is that you're right. You don't see anyone catching him. He manages to get there. So the puck is loose at center ice. Nichols has to go off his uh, stick, and it goes up against the netting in behind Langhammer, so... Well, again, get a stoppage here with a face-off in the center race area. 32-31 now. The Blades are shooting the Tigers in this hockey game and leading by three goals. With 3.36, the left here in the third period. Fans starting to file out of the building. Dylan Brado at center ice. And it's Darren Dietz. Over on the left side for Duncan Siemens. He'll rip the puck deep into Tiger territory. Duncan Siemens, one of the premier defensemen in the Western Rockets. He hails from Sherwood Park. And, uh, of course, was with the late slash here. Colorado Avalanche uh, first-round draft pick. And Park's in the corner. And as very mentioned earlier, former teammate of Dylan Basinius back in Bantam Hockey. Speaking of Basinius. He's uh, parked in front of the Tiger goaltender trying to help old Merrick Langhammer. Comes back to Dates. The shot. Langhammer making the same walker. Retreats back in behind his own goal. Walker still in possession of the puck. Being tied up by Becker. Puck comes back to Darren Dates. Dates will send it across the blue line to Duncan Simmons. He whistles a shot. Rebound by Cambites. And that goes off a stick. And up against the uh, netting in behind Langhammer. And I think we're going to get... Uh, a penalty coming up here. It looks to be going to the Saskatoon Bladesburg. Well, I think it's uh, Walker, the guy who's getting the penalty, and slashed the stick right out of the hands of Becker. So the Tigers, uh, 244 left, going to the power play. Well, they'll be trying to make this game more respectable with uh, another goal. Daryl McLean, we are playing the Antonio's Pizza power play contest for you. So, uh, still without a power play goal, they get another chance later in this hockey game. 2.44 the time left, and that's the final period. Elgin Pierce, Boston Lair, Trevor Cox. The front three for the Tigers on the power play. Lewington and uh, Ty Stanton back along the blue line. Tigers coaching staff showing a lot of confidence in Ty Stanton, giving him some power play time coming off the back end. Uh, what a player he is going to be for this Tiger team. Puck is labeled all the way down. The ice Stanton gets back after it. Beats Nichols to the puck. 
Ty Stanton has it, lost it. Now he got some help in there from Lewington. Lewington comes tearing out of his own zone. He'll find uh, Trevor Cox. Cox is in on the line. Here's Cox trying to set up on the power play. He'll get it deep. Around the boards it comes. Elgin Pierce trying to trap it off the wall, but uh, failed to do so. Tigers holding it in, though. Here's Lewington to the side of the net, but Pierce uh, just failed on a deflection. Tigers trying to hold it in and maybe set up again, but the Blades now starting away. Cam Blades, he's at center ice. Blades doing a real good job in killing off penalties against this Tiger team here tonight. They've even had some shorthanded opportunities, and one created on a penalty shot that Langhammer stopped on Josh Nichols. Still, Nichols has come back and has scored two goals. Lewington trying to get to the puck to the right side of his own goal. And they had uh, Stolman beating him to the puck. Stolman drops it right back into deep play territory. So they're ragging it, trying to kill off some time. There's 40 seconds left here in the Tiger penalty. And it's logged all the way down the ice. So the Tigers have to go back and start all over again. So... Now, the power play that's kind of fizzled a bit here, Barry. Yeah, not uh, many opportunities here on this power play for the Tigers. Uh, it's been the story all night. They just haven't been able to get pucks uh, through to the net. Becker from center ice. He'll chop the puck deep into blade territory. Stransky has it for Saskatoon. He's down the left side. Overstates the puck, gets it right back again. Now it's kicked loose, and we've only got a minute left here, and this the... Final period with Blaze leading 6-3. to three. Looks as though they'll go home with uh, two wins on this three-game trip in the Central Division of the Western Hockey League. The puck is in the corner, the left side of the Tigers' net. They dig away after it. Coolis, he'll move it up for Curtis Volk. Volk busting down the left side. Volk, he was stopped as he tried to hit the blue line, and then it sent right back into deep Tiger territory again. Basinius. He overskates the puck, then brought it ahead for Sanford. Sanford drives it ahead for Gavin Broadhead. He's hit over the blue line with Aure. Took a shot, but it's called on the outside, so we'll get a stoppage, and the uh, faceoff will be outside the Blaze blue line. Uh, 33-32 are the shots in favor of the Saskatoon Blaze, but for Falcon time, Blades have a 6-3 lead. Yeah, they made the, uh, the ones count here tonight. Uh, they had some opportunities and made the most of them. Three power play goals, and for the Saskatoon Blades early in this game, and that uh, was huge for them tonight. Stransky's been a big part of this uh, blade attack here tonight, too. A Dallas uh, Stars draft pick, and, you know, he's a big, huge player. He's going to fit into that organization very well. Zajac hit over the blue line. Lost the puck to Derek Rickman. Rickman rivals it off the board. Zowery has it for the Tigers. He loses it as well. So Rickman helps him out as the game is over. Saskatoon Blades winning this one going away by a score of 6-3. to three. And uh, we get some extracurricular things going on at the buzzer here. Little scrum developing along the board. Siemens is involved. Now, Howry, young uh, kid out of California. Rickman trying to protect Howry, and I think uh, cooler heads will prevail. That's about all that's going to happen there, Barry. Well, I think that's about, uh, you're exactly right, that's about all that's going to happen there. And that's uh, the, the game here with Saskatoon going on to the victory. Well, the Blades uh, seem to have kind of pulled out of their funk with back-to-back -back wins. After losing five in a row, they beat Lethbridge last night and now here against the Tigers, uh, one tonight. And uh, again, the huge difference was the, uh, you know, especially teams. Their penalty kill was perfect and their power play almost perfect as well. well